मल्होत्रा ठीक है सेवा है तुम यहाँ तक पहुँच गया अबे घर में पढ़ा था अबे यार भाई मेरा तो कुछ शुरू ही नहीं हुआ देख अभी इतना पढ़ना है मेजर आरे पता नहीं कब पढ़ूँगा यार मैं तो क्या कर रहा था भाई अबे इतने कपड़े फोड़ करे ये कपड़े आधे तय कर लिए ये इतनी शर्ट्स मैंने फोड़ कर ली इतनी सारी अभी पढ़ी पता नहीं अब मैं कब तो करूँगा यार मतलब मेजर के लिए पढ़ना है यार अब तो जिंदगी बर्बाद सी लग रही है यार क्या है क्या आप भी मेरे जो उस मलूत्रा की तरह परेशान है क्या आपका भी आधा टाइम टी शर्ट फोल्ड करने में निकल जाता है जानता हूँ मेरे दोस्त आपको क्या चाहिए आपको चाहिए आयरन मैन की टी शर्ट फोल्डिंग मशीन तो आइए ले चलते हैं आपको आयरन मैन की हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर द टीम आयरन मैन एंड वी ब्रिंग टू वेरी ऑन प्रोजेक्ट द क्रीज फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो टू द ओल्ड डेज एट दैट टाइम मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्क वॉज डन मैन्युअली लार्ज पीस ऑफ क्लोथ वर टेकन टी शर्ट्स वर डिजाइन एंड दे वर डन फोल्डेड बट सिंस द इंडस्ट्रियल रिवॉल्यूशन ऑल द मशीन आर डूइंग द वर्क बट Folding clothes is still a problem, so we bring to you a very good solution: the T-shirt folder. Also, it is cost-effective. It can be used by the hostels or even the laundries and the dhobi walas. Like take example of very own IIT hostels. For example, we have our very own fully automated machines. So why not we have a T-shirt folder? And take also the examples where the joint family is existing. In today's world, they are, it's so cumbersome to fold clothes of each and every person. So it will be also a boon for them. Even for working parents, so this is our. Let me take you to the day one of our MVP one zero one project making. We came up with brilliant ideas of, after long hours of discussion regarding how to fold T-shirts automatically. So the first idea that we came up with was the robotic arm, which seemed very effective and accurate, but the cost was very high, and the, uh, it, uh, we thought that it won't be very easy for us to make such a complex feature. So we moved on to the second point. Which was using uh, rollers that would slide over the T-shirts and eventually fold. The idea was good and it was easy to make, but I, we were not sure about the efficiency and accuracy with which they would fold the T-shirts because they were not pressing the T-shirts while folding them. So the creases won't be very prominent. So the third point that we came up with was using flaps that would flip over, ro rotate, and uh, press over the T-shirts at the positions. That were required and create the creases. The good thing about this was that it was easy to make and it was cost effective. It was cheap. Hello friends, I'll be taking you to the construction part of the crease. The first thing that we uh, took for the crease was this metal frame, which we took from the junkyard. It's purely metallic. Then came the 1.5 mm mild steel, a sheet metal which is welded upon the frame. Then The flaps that you see here are made of wood, plywood actually, which are responsible for the flip flap mechanism of the crease. So, guys, I'm going to talk about the problems that we faced during uh, making of these flaps. First, we thought about making the whole thing metallic, metallic uh, axis and the metallic flap using sheet metal. But we finally understood that it has so high moment of inertia that no, uh, there was no way of rotating it. So we finally turned to wood and plywood. So uh, this is uh, uh, the simple wood, and we used plywood to uh, make the flaps. Then we uh, this were, we thought that this was also very heavy. So we switched finally to cardboard. But the cardboard was so light that it was, it was unable to fold the T-shirts. So we we turned back again to using uh, this uh, plywood, and uh, so this worked. Further into the construction of the crease, I'll talk about the the parts that hold these rods in place. These are actually 1.5 mm mild um, uh, steel sheet metal which are bolted with this frame. We have four of those, one, two, three, and four. Onto each one of those is welded this metal tubing in which this wooden rod goes. So we had the problem. That uh, came with the axis selection of this rod. So for that, we welded the tubings in such a way that the tubings were parallel to the axis of the rod of the flap. The, on the other side, we attached pillars which had holes large enough so for free rotation of the flaps and small enough to hold it uh, along the axis. developed these handles with a hole and these slits which were which were made first drilling holes into them and then chiseling out 
द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विच आर आफ्टर स्टीलिंग बीच होता देन देन देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ बेसिकली दिस फ्रेम इज टू हैवी एंड मूविंग इट अराउंड द वर्कशॉप विच एज इट एफ सो वी डेवलप दिस प्लाईवुड फ्रेम ऑन टू विच फोर व्हील्स आर टैक ऑन ऑल द कॉर्नर्स सो मूविंग इट अराउंड इट वॉज एन इजियर ड्रॉप डाउन ऑल्सो दीज पिलर्स नीडेड अ प्लेस टू स्टैंड ऑन सो इन अ वे दिस प्लाई वुड हेल्प एस सॉल्विंग थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स problem that we had is that this metallic frame would very often slide on the base of the uh, of the crease right now the reason for this was that the metallic frame was not fixed to the crease frame in any way now to fix it what we did is we attached a few piece of wood on the inside of the metallic frame and we glued it to the wooden base this ensured that the metallic frame was effectively fixed to the frame so our initial idea was to automate this machine Uh, because we needed to automate this for industrial purposes so the idea to automate it was as follows uh, i had a atmega 8 uh, and a lm293 motor driver okay uh, now atmega 8 was programmed such that it would send signals to the lm293d the motor driver uh, which would in turn drive the motor as per our will i programmed it such so that it uh, rotates first clockwise then anti clockwise Thus, in turn, rotating the flap clockwise and anti-clockwise, which would fold our cloth. Uh, we could also program the time, uh, the angle of rotation, as per our will, and thus uh, we could have an entirely automated uh, flap mechanism. Yeah. 